In this episode of Engineering Career TV, we're going to be answering a question from Kate, which is, I am a recent engineering graduate working overseas. I am planning on transitioning home soon, so I've started looking at possible positions in the States. I was curious about what kind of engineering firm is best to work for as a young engineer. Is it best to work at a larger firm or a smaller firm? I've researched a bit about it and I find a lot of conflicting views. What do you think? All right, Kate, this is certainly a case-by-case -case basis answer and that's why you're finding different conflicting views because everyone is different and everyone wants to have different working experiences. The first thing I want to say is if you go to engineeringcareercoach.com or you just Google the Engineering Career Coach podcast episode 142, we did an entire half an hour episode on this with a young engineer who had to make this decision. It was a case study episode that might be helpful for you. But let's just talk about the process for a minute. Working for a small engineering company has benefits and the primary benefits are you get to do a lot of things. For me, I worked for a very small company when I started and I was doing drafting. I was doing design work. I was going in the field and taking measurements. I was going to meetings and talking to clients. I was getting to experience a lot at a young age, which was very helpful for me. On the flip side, some of the downsides of a small company or small firm is they don't have all the resources that a larger firm has. They weren't going to be able to pay for my graduate school, which the firm that eventually purchased them was able to. You have to think about that. Your compensation package, your benefits, you have to weigh all of these things into your decision. From the bigger company perspective, some of the benefits of working for a larger engineering company would be those resources like the compensation package, the benefits, the access to more experts in the field, simply because the bigger company has more employees. Access to potentially higher profile, more interesting engineering projects, which is one of the reasons that a lot of people gravitate towards bigger companies. To work on these larger projects with these other high-powered consultants, that's a big benefit. The downside for working for a larger engineering firm, potentially, and again, this doesn't always happen, but it could be getting pigeonholed. As opposed to being able to do the drafting and the field work and the design work and the client correspondence, you might be pigeonholed into just doing the design. Quite frankly, that might be a good thing at a certain point in your career, but at another point, it might not be so good. These are some pluses and minuses of both sides. What I would recommend is to try to talk to someone in each scenario before you make your decision. Someone in your field that will give you even more specific input because as I said, this is a case-by-case -case basis question. But hopefully, the tips I've given you here will help. And if you check out the Engineering Career Coach podcast episode 142, I think you'll have enough information to make a very informed decision. I hope you found this episode of Engineering Career TV helpful. Remember, you can go to engineeringcareercoach.com forward slash ask and submit your question. This show is for you and I want you to take advantage of it. You can find all of the episodes categorized by topic at engineeringcareer.tv. If you would like to discuss issues like this and other engineering career goals and challenges, I recommend you join the Engineering Mastermind, an online support community we have created for engineers at theengineeringmastermind.com. For the price, you can't get more specific, targeted engineering career advice and assistance. The Engineering Mastermind is not about helping you survive as an engineer. It's about helping you thrive. This is Anthony Fasano, author of Engineer Your Own Success. Please subscribe to this show on YouTube or iTunes, and I'll see you next week.